What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here. Today we're going to talk about hexadecimal. And you get to see how crappy writing looks whenever you try to use a mouse uh, and a whiteboard. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while to try to help people understand because, you know, I remember being super confused about hexadecimal while doing game hacking and stuff initially. Um, and, you know, it is confusing at first, but as you keep working with it, it'll become second nature. You know, you won't be like counting way up high numbers in hexadecimal and converting them to decimal like quickly uh, anytime soon, but you're not going to really need to do that. So depending on w what your reason is for wanting to learn this, this video is applicable to anyone interested in learning about hexadecimal. But, you know, if you're familiar with my channel and the game hacking stuff that I talk about, you know, that's where this will be instantly applicable for you. All right, so anyway, what we're going to do to get started here is I want to talk about what hexadecimal means. What is it? All right, so hex right here, okay, that is terrible. Let me try that again. <laughs> All right, so hex here, hex means six. All right, this is just a quick way to give you an idea of what this means. All right, this is not proper by definition, but anyway, so hex is six. All right, think of the uh as a plus. And then decimal here is 10. So six plus 10 is 16, right? So hexadecimal, 16. What does that mean? Base, 16, all right? so. Base 16 is a numerical system. It's a system of numbers. It is hexadecimal. Hexadecimal is a base 16 numerical system. What does that mean? It means that the base of hexadecimal is comprised of 16 symbols. All right, what does that mean? <laughs> Let's make it relevant to you using decimal. I'm just going to kind of rush through here with the writing and not worry about it being neat, but decimal. Decimal is a base 10 system, all right? So you've got 0 through 9, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is 10 numbers, or we'll say symbols, because one of the first things you have to stop thinking about is this is a number, this is a letter right this is a number and this is a letter you have to kind of stop thinking about it like that and start just thinking of these as symbols you know like we know this is D but if you didn't know what a D was like imagine you're just coming up through elementary school you don't know what D is right you had to learn that you had to learn what this symbol this line with this half circle what does that symbol mean right so start think when I say symbol that's what I mean it's the thing that you know as a number or a letter both are symbols they're things you draw right um, all right so with that out of the way let me erase this here so decimal is base 10 it has 10 symbols to represent anything that you want to write within that system right so if we want to write the number 572, right? 5 is one of the numbers out of the base 10. The 10 numbers that are comprised of the base of the system, right? We have any one of those 10 numbers to use or symbols to use. So 500, I don't remember what number I said a little bit ago, 582 maybe, right? So we used 5, we used 8, we used 2. Each of these are individual symbols in this base 10 system. All right, so let's let's look at uh, binary really quick. Binary, you know, binary. It's one zero zero one zero one zero zero one one whatever, right? Binary is base two. Base two, meaning. Anything that you want to use to represent a, a number or something using binary, you only have two things that you can use, 0 and 1, base 2. 
So if we wanted to make a huge number, you know, all we have is this to work with. Zero, zero, one, zero, right? Just forever. That Those are the only numbers you could use. So the way binary works, if you wanted to, you know, write out 582 in binary, it would use a lot more symbols. You'd be using a lot more numbers as you're used to seeing them, right, to represent this. So if you want to tell someone, hey, I want 582 eggs, right, we walk around using decimal. That's just what we've done you know, as a society, right? With hexadecimal, we use that as a way to more easily represent binary values. And don't worry about what that means at the moment. I'm just kind of talking about things as they sort of come up in mind, all right? So knowing that binary is base 2, meaning that there's two numbers that we will ever use to represent something in binary, and decimal is base 10, meaning 0 through 9, that's 10 symbols that we'll ever use to represent any value as a decimal number. Hexadecimal is 16. It's base 16. So, you know, what does that mean? Okay, well, you've probably seen these before. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0 through 9 is going to be exactly the same. 7, 8, 9. All right. So in the hexadecimal, 0 through 9 is the same as decimal. Decimal. 10. So we basically have decimal here plus 6. So we have to go 6 more for 16. And what do you do? We go A, B, C, D, E, F. All right. So yes, we say A, B, C, D, E, F. These are the letters of the alphabet. <laughs> we say them exactly the same, but you have to start thinking of them in a numerical context. And this is where your brain is going to totally fry if you're not used to this. I, it took me a, a month of working with this stuff. You know, I wasn't working with it every day, but off and on to, to really start understanding where my brain was trying to think of a number in decimal versus hexadecimal. All right. So just to show you where your brain is going to really fry. 0 through 9 is the same as, as decimal, right? So if I have 9 in hex, that's going to equal 9 in decimal. This is what your brain's going to want to do. You're going to want to take a hexadecimal number and convert it to decimal so you can think of it like that. Eventually, you'll kind of stop doing that and just learn to use hexadecimal as its own thing, right? But let's convert these numbers from hexadecimal to decimal. So 0 through 9 is all the same. All right, so if we wanted to convert A, that's hexadecimal, to decimal, that's going to be 10. B is 11. C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. All right, so hexadecimal is base 16, and you may be saying, well, it only goes up to 15. Why is it base 16? Zero, you've got to start thinking of zero. Zero is a number. It's, well, a symbol, right? So from zero to F, that's 16, okay? Now that we've gone from zero to F, and we went, you know, 0 through 9 being 0 through 9 as it would be, A10, B11, etc. Where do we go from F in hexadecimal? If we want to go above F, what do you do? So you start with 10, all right? You're going to go 10, 11, 12, 13. This is where your brain is going to absolutely melt. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Sometimes this ab acts crazy. 19. All right. Do you go to 20? No. You go 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, and then 1F. All right. So, inevitably, as you start working with the stuff, 
you're going to be thinking in decimal. You're going to try as hard as you can to think in hexadecimal and to try to keep that in mind when you're working with stuff in hexadecimal. And you're going to screw up. You're going to think of 16 as 16. You're not going to think of 16 hex as being equal to 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 in decimal. 16 hex is 22 in decimal if you counted it up properly. Now this is where if you have Windows Calculator, you can set it on programmer mode. I'm on Windows 10, Windows Vista up through whatever. I think every Windows version has programmer mode in their calculator. Just look for it. Okay. This is where the calculator is your friend. Don't not use this. <laughs> All right. Don't feel like it's cheating or that you're a noob or whatever use it use the crap out of it it'll really help you out all right so let's say you're working with something and you have 1e and you're like i need to know what 1e is in decimal so you could click hex right here and go 1e and you can see right here it populates that as 30 in decimal okay now if we had said i want 30 eggs but you told someone that in binary you would say, I need uh, 0001110 eggs. <laughs> You're not going to do that, you know? Um, so hexadecimal is a way to more easily represent binary. And I'll provide some links below for you to read more into that if you are interested. But long story short, the idea of what a base numerical system is is really easy binary is base 2 octal is base 8 which you'll never use octal uh, if you ever do use octal you're probably a computer science student or something like that very rarely would you ever need to use octal decimal that's like every day hexadecimal you know decimal is base 10 hexadecimal is base 16 all right so I know it seems like I'm drilling that point home but this is presumably for people who are kind of beginners with this stuff and don't quite understand it uh, or even know like what a base system is a numerical system like that all right so I hope that this kind of helped you sort of understand what hexadecimal is and you know just try to do this you know start off doing stuff like this you know now that we're, we've gotten to 1f what would you do next how would you go above 1f you know well you would go 2 0 right 2 1 2 2 just like you would in decimal right except you have these extra symbols to start tacking on with everything it's going to take you a while for your brain to flip over into thinking pretty quickly about going from 1f to 20 or you know or from 29 to 2a and 2b you know what i mean that'll take you a while to get used to doing that that's the most awesome b you've ever seen in your life <laughs> anyway all right so um feel free to ask some questions in the comments um and i'll try to get to them or at least try to provide you with some resources uh, make sure you check the video description too because i'll have some additional links for you there with some resources but uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my game tutorials, my cheat engine tutorials, uh, where I talk a lot about this stuff, and you can really put it into practice there. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.